Hey, how you doing? So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to recreate a beautiful sun burst into your pictures. So this is ideal for when you're doing portraits, whether that be single or families or whatever it is you're doing. Sometimes when we're doing these images, the, the weather is not as good as we would initially like it to be. So this will just give you the ability to add a little bit of warmth and depth to your pictures. So I'm going to start from the beginning and walk you through the process. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that our layers panels are viewable. So if you can't see them, come to Windows and then select Layers, or you can press F7 as well. Then from there, what we want to do is come down to the bottom and add a new layer. So just click on this little icon down the bottom. Then we're going to come over to our gradient tool. So if we click on that and then come up to the top here, we can select our gradient. Now there's going to be loads and loads and loads of these. So you, you can pretty much start with whichever one you want. So this is my one here at the minute. So the first thing we want to do is click on this little box here. On mine it's white. It may be a different color on yours, but click on that, come to the color and then if your color is there, for instance, you want to come up and just make it white and then press OK. Then what we want to do is come to the middle and we're going to select an orange color. Now, if you haven't got this here, if yours just has white and then a color or if it's just black, then all you need to do is just click and you'll see a little box will appear. OK, so when you do that, that is enabling you then to add a third color. So come to the color again, and then what you want to do is just click on a color that you like. So I'm going to select an orange around there and press OK. And then finally come to the last square and come to the color again. And then we want to pick a nice red. So you can pick one that suits you and your picture and then just press OK. So once you've done that, then click on new. And what it will do, it will come up here with your particular gradient so we can call this sunset and just press OK. So now we've done that come to the middle of your picture click in the middle and then just drag down and you'll see there we go we've got the white of the sun and then coming into an orange and then more into red. Now you can do this multiple times just to get the right level of gradient so you can see here the orange is a lot thicker and then the red is a lot wider. So I want to make that a little bit smaller. So around there is pretty good. So we've got the white, we've got then the orange and then the red on the outside. So now we've done that, come up to the top here and select the elliptical marquee tool. Hold down the shift key so that it remains a circle. Click and then drag around that gradient. So there's pretty good. So you can see we've got the red, we've got the orange, and we've got the white in the middle. Then all we need to do is come down to the bottom and just select our mask button. So click on that and it will mask it out into our circle there, which is going to represent our sun. Come up to the top here and change the blending mode to screen. So there we go. That's given us a little bit of a better blend. Now we can use the move tool and position this wherever we want. The other thing that we can do is if I come out, I press Control Command T to transform, hold down the shift key so we keep the proportions. We can actually make this bigger as well. So let's just make this a little bit bigger and position it around there I think is pretty good. But you can move this around as much as you want. So the next thing we need to do is we need to blur this because obviously we've got hard edges and it just looks completely false. So come up to Filter, go to Blur and then select Gaussian Blur. And you can change this to your own liking. So you could have it really blurred out or you can have some hard edges on there. It really comes down to personal preference. There's no right or wrong way. But the one thing I would say is just try and avoid having these hard edges because it, it just doesn't look real. So I think personally around there looks pretty good. And again, because we're still on the move tool, we can position this. So I think around there is quite nice. We've got a little bit on the face and a little bit on the shoulder there. So that's given us our our sunburst, so to speak. We could even make this a little bit bigger again, just pressing Control Command T, holding the shift key down to keep the proportions and just position that 
there so it's just over the shoulder. So now we've done that we need to then make sure that the rest of the image looks the same because at the minute we've got quite a lot of blue and quite a lot of orange in this shot and the cooler side of the face here just doesn't match with the with the sun at the background so what we need to do is click on the background layer and then we want to come down to our tools down here and we want to make a new adjustment layer so i'm going to select the curves tool now we've got the rgb so i'm going to click on the red obviously we want this to be a little bit warmer so i'm just going to push that up a little bit and we can see it's just starting to add little bits of red in there come down to the green so we've got green if we go to the top we've got green and then if we bring it down we have got a little bit of magenta in there so let's just bring that down a little bit let's come to the blue and obviously if we push that up we're going to have blue and down we're going to have yellow so let's add a little bit of yellow to this picture as well there we go so now we've done that let's come down to the bottom and let's make a new adjustment let's select color balance now this time we can select the midtones, the highlights and the shadows so let's start with the shadows and let's add some yellow into our shadows you can add some blue into your shadows if you want to because that's that's what will happen uh, naturally in a picture but I just want to really warm this up a lot more because there is all, already a lot of blue in here let's add a little bit of red into the top there and let's come to the mid-tones so the mid-tones is going to be the one that's going to be quite strong so let's just add some more yellow some more red maybe a little bit of magenta and let's come to our highlights and let's add some more yellow and some more red into there and some more magenta so i think around there is pretty good so we've made minor adjustments really to the picture so let's just close that off and let's just have a look at what that has just given us so the color balance is there this is our curves tool so this was before so we just take the sun away so we've got our original we added that sun and we added the curves tool there which has really helped just with the contrast and then we've added the color balance there, and that has just really warmed everything up so if i come to the history panel and click on the little camera you can see this was the before and this was the after and that now looks natural it looks like it is actually a sunset and we're getting some nice colors coming through in there as well so i hope you've enjoyed that i hope that's given you a few little tips and tricks there to add to your portraits i hope that's helped i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye